So this is very similar to question nine and 10 and, and the my open math section for 5.3. This is from page, um, let's see, it is from page 332 in the textbook. So I figured I'd work through these problems to help you out. So let's see, first one is, and I matched up these because one of them is we're asking for the sine, one is working, asking for the cosine and they're working with the same angles. So for, the, for A, uh, pi over three, it's in quadrant one, and it's got that right reference triangle, and this is pi over three, uh, 60 degrees if you want, because you think about it as, um, not that we need to know that to do this problem, but if you think about the, uh, doing that conversion, uh, pi over three times 180 over pi, the pi's cancel out, and that's 60 degrees. Okay, now some people, um, ask me what is some easy ways to work with radians like that well if it's a it's an angle expressed in terms of pi and because on these for these more simple questions if it's either going to be over three it'll be over six or it'll be over 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 four 180 because it's always work out 180 over three is 60 180 over six is 30 180 over four is 45 so that's one way to quickly come up with these angles if you want to work in, in degrees, and that's certainly all right. Uh, now, for these questions, we really don't even need to think that hard about it. All we have to do is realize, okay, when is the sign going to be the same? Well, that sign's positive, and the only other place that sign is positive will be over here in quadrant two. It'll be the same reference angle of pi over three or 60 degrees, um, and that's that sine value, right? That y and that y will be exactly the same. So they're asking us, well, what's this angle? And because we're working on the radians, we have to do radians. So um, if I take pi, because that's this full, full angle, right? From here, from the initial ray, all the way over here to halfway around the circle, is pi radians, and we're gonna come back pi over three, subtract off that, that angle. So that's going to be the same as three pi over three, because that's another form of one, uh, one pi, minus pi over three is two pi over three, has this exact same sign as pi over three. Um, now, if you want to do this in degrees, you certainly can. Uh, if you think about this, this angle will be, it's, I'll try to get this so it's not quite so messy. Um, If this is a 60 degree reference angle here, this will also be a 60 degree reference angle. And then if we subtract 60 from 180, that'll be 120 degrees. And then because we're working in radians, we have to express the answer in radians. So you can do 120 times pi over 180. And I can cancel out a 60 out of each of those and I'm gonna get the same two pi over three. So I, it's either either way works. Uh, I like working with the radians because that's one less step I have to worry about. So that's question 15a. 17a is asking us, when is the cosine the same? Well, if the cosine's the same, let's see, let me get a different ink going here. We're talking about this x value here, right? Where What angle has that same x value? In fact, you can think about it as, what angle has that, shares that, shares that side and that triangle? So if I think about it, well, it's gotta be down here in quadrant three. If that's a pi over three reference angle, and I'm trying to figure out what's shy, if I'm going all the way around to that angle there is what I'm looking for. Well, that's gonna be two pi minus pi over three. And if we work with this in terms of, of, you know, same denominator, think about it as a fraction, this becomes six pi over three, because so I'm multiplied by three over three to get that fraction over three, minus pi over three is gonna be uh, five pi over three. And that angle has the same cosine. And again, if you wanted to work in degrees, that's a 60 degree reference angle. 
and we have to take 60 degrees away from 300. So that'll be uh, 60 degrees away from 360, we should be a 300 degree angle. And then we'd have to do that conversion like we did here and we'd end up with five pi over three. Okay, so that's 17, that's 15, 17, uh, A. Uh, let's see if I can't clean this up a little bit and do a little more. So 80 degree reference angles, very similar to this last one. Eighty degrees is in this quadrant. That means where is the sign the same? Well, it'll be over here. So let's think about that. How big's that angle? And then we have to figure out this angle. So I hope you realize that that's eighty degrees and one hundred and eighty minus eighty will make that a hundred degrees. We don't have to worry about radians because we're in degrees, and then. Where is this cosine the same? Well, it'll be down here because we're sharing that, sharing that side. And if that's an 80 degree angle, that's gonna be 360 degrees minus 80. So I think that's 280 degrees. We'll have the same cosine because it's sharing that side. Okay, let's do the next one. 140 degrees kicks us over into quadrant four, or qu I'm sorry, quadrant two. So here's a 140 degree angle. It's my reference triangle. That reference angle is gonna be 180 minus 140. So that'd be a 40 degree reference angle. And what will have the same sign? Well, it'll be back over here in quadrant, quadrant one. And how big is that angle? The same as that reference angle, which is 40 degrees. So, uh, 40 degrees, uh, no, sorry, a 40 degree angle will have the same sign. And then if we're looking for cosine, whoops, we're down here, quadrant, quadrant three now, because we wanna have it sharing that X, that adjacent side right there. So since that's gonna have the same reference angle, that's, I don't know if you can see that in yellow, I can't see it, Let me go back to black. That's a 40 degree reference angle. And in order to get it, let me get a nice color, bluey, purpley kind of color. We're looking for this angle right there. So we've gone 180 degrees up to this point and we're gonna go 40 more. So that'll be what, 220 degrees? Whoops, 220 degrees. We'll have the same cosine. Okay, let's do the next one. So four pi over three, well, I know that pi, pi is at 180, and I know pi, another name for pi is three pi over three, since I'm working with thirds. So it looks to me like I gotta go one third of pi more. So this reference angle is pi over three. So when is the sign the same? Well, that sign is, that that's negative over here, so that means the only way a sign can be negative is to be over here in quadrant four also. And how big is that reference angle? Well, it's the same, pi over three. And then we've got to figure out what this angle is. So we're gonna take two pi and subtract pi over three from it. So six pi over three minus pi over three is five pi over three. That will have the same, same sign. And for cosine, we're dealing with this x-axis here, we wanna know when will it share that same x-axis? Well, it's gotta be here in quadrant two. And that reference angle's a pi over three. And how big's that angle? Well, that's gonna be pi minus pi over three, right? Uh, so pi or three pi over three minus one pi over three. We already did this calculation once already. So that's two pi over three. We'll have the same cosine. Then this very last, I'm hoping this is starting to, starting to see this, make connections, so you could do this one, but I'll finish it off since I've got it on the screen. So 305 degrees falls over here. 
if that's 305, that reference angle has to be 55 because it's 6, 360 minus the 305. So when is the sign going to be the same? Well, that sign's negative, so we're going to be over here in quadrant in quadrant three. That's got to be a 55 degree reference angle. So we're going to do 180 plus 55 is, let's see if I'm doing my arithmetic right, I think that is, what, 235? So a 235 degree angle will have that same sign. And then we're looking for the cosine. We want to have it share that same X axis. So that slaps it up here into quadrant one. And that's a 55 degree reference angle. So 55 degrees. And that's how you do these kind of problems. Hope it helps.